Uh, 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 no, I just got here. Yeah. Oh, it's for me, Mom. It's Diane. Huh? Alex! Mimi, K2, come on over quick. I got something to show you. Me too, I'm starving. So, come on, what's this all about? Susie is hiding a treasure under her bed. Wow, looks like a magic box. We gonna open it? Oh yeah, ah. like wow, it's a magic spell book. And loads of magic rings. With all kinds of spells and charms inside. I'd really like to get a candy storm going. How about you, Mimi? Uh, I'd like to be able to become invisible. Well, maybe not all the time, just when I've done something bad. Okay, let's try out this spell book, but we gotta hurry. My sister's gonna be back in a minute with Diane. Let's start out with the first magic formula. Dear Diary, you're the only one I can tell this. <gasps> wow! I was looking through the classroom window. What was that? It was a bolt of lightning! Yeah, it was a super powerful lightning bolt, and we're only on the first page. No, not that. That shout in the garden. What was that? Hey, Elliot, wait for me! Victor? What's he doing here? You invited him over, Elliot? No, I forgot. He came over to get back a toy robot he let me. Uh, hi, Victor. Come in. I'm really sorry, Victor, but we were just casting a lightning spell with Mimi and K2. What? We really weren't aiming it at you. Well, we were just trying it out to see what it did. You... you cast a spell <laughs> on me? Poor Victor. Come with me and I'll dry you off. Susie's spell book is really like, wow! Yeah, but a little bit more and Victor would... Thanks a lot, huh? Mrs. Kid. Ah, I see you got your robot back. Victor, I'm really sorry about what we did. I never would have thought you'd do something like that, but I'm gonna get even! You just wait and see! Forgive me if I don't get it back. I think we have bigger things to worry about. Well, I mean, is he going to use his spell book to get back at us? Look! There he is! He's got the spell book! He's going to cast a spell on us for sure! We just got to get the spell book back from Victor, or else he's going to cast some more spells on us. Huh? Hmm. Victor, you've really got to give the spell book back to me. Spell book? I know that now, because of it, you've got awesome powers and you're a great magician, but... Uh, I'm a great magician? With awesome powers? You're really the best, but now you have to give the book back to me. Mm. No way! With my awesome powers, I'm gonna get even! You shouldn't have cast a spell on me. <sighs> okay, the coast is clear. We're not supposed to be in here during playtime. Don't worry. We're not going to be in here long. And anyway, it's the only way to get that spell book back. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, don't, you scared me, Mimi. 
Victor, but how did you know we were in here? That's easy. With the spell book's powers, he hears all, sees all, and figures it all out. What I can see is you were searching through my stuff. I'm warning you, I'm no. gonna... Don't change uh. us into toads! <laughs> <laughs> what a great idea! I'll change you into toads! <laughs> You should act like you're chickens! What? That's right, you heard me. When Miss Bridget calls you up to the blackboard, you act like chickens. What do you mean? That's totally crazy. Okay, then, I'm gonna... <gasps> oh. Change you into toads! No! no! Okay, we'll do it. You better. You never should have told him we'd do anything he wanted, Mimi. Yeah, but I don't want to be turned into a toad. Hmm? Miss Bridget, Miss Bridget, Elliot wants to go first. <laughs> All right, Elliot, then you go first. <laughs> okay, we're all ears, Elliot. I thought you wanted to go first. Elliot, what are you? <laughs> All right, now, that's enough, children. Elliot, what's gotten into you? <laughs> This is the first time ever that Miss Bridget's asked us to come see her. I don't know what got into you, but don't ever do that again. Understand? And your father agrees with me. Yes, that's right. Uh, I think your mother said it all. So, yes, go on now. Go right up to your room. So where's my diary? Uh, I'm not the one who took it, so I can't give it back to you right away. I know that the lightning spell is super dangerous, but I promise it wasn't us who used it for the bird's attack. I want to get it back too, but Victor has it, you see? He stole it so he could get back at me. Elliot? Mm, yes? Are you telling me that that silly Victor has my diary and he's reading it right now as we speak? I absolutely want it back by tonight, otherwise I'm gonna tell Mom everything. Yeah, this has got to stop. If at least we had another spell book, maybe we could... Victor's never going to be able to cast a spell on us ever again. Hey, what are those? These are my sister's magic <gasps> rings that were in her box, and they're going to protect us from any of Victor's spells. Yeah! <laughs> you make a pretty good chicken. Now i got something else to ask you. Anything you want. Oh, Meet me in the park no, after school. No. And you better be there, or else. Yeah, yeah, the toads, we know. Don't worry, we'll be there. Oh. <laughs> right, with these magic rings, there's nothing Victor can do to us. What are you talking about? Uh, nothing, nothing. Right, I want you to get me sweets. Lots of sweets. Hard sweets, soft sweets, blue sweets, red sweets, sour sweets, and sweets that melt in your mouth. And I want them all now. Otherwise... Otherwise what? No way. Oh, yeah? Then I'm going to change you into toads. So, you're not so big now, are you? So, now give me back the magic spell book. But I never took any magic spell book. Oh, yeah? Then how come you got magic powers? I don't have any magic powers. You're the ones who said I did. If Victor didn't take it, I don't know who did. Elliot! Susie, I'm really sorry, but I don't have... It's okay, I got it back. Diane borrowed it from me without telling me so she could read my secrets. I never would have thought she could have done something like that. 
Anyway, I'm sorry I blamed you, Elliot. For once, it wasn't your fault. <laughs> yeah! Oh, my rings! Elliot! <laughs> you know, I think it's a really good time to become invisible. Elliot! <laughs> 